Hey folks, thanks for joining us again today. Another day here in the Llama Life. Today we're gonna go over a lot of different things about staking out and picketing your llamas. We have four basic methods that we use in the backcountry, and uh, we wanted to kind of show you those. We've got uh, some great participants here, four of our uh, male pack llamas. All these guys are studs, so if those, uh, those of you that are into pack llamas, here's four fine boys for you to take a look at. So picketing your llamas, we'll go over that in uh, detail today for you. Okay, so the first method that we use, this is almost uh, probably 80% of the time we use this method and it's just simple staking out your llamas. And so <clears throat> there's all sorts of different types of stakes. The primary two that we use are these two. And this is kind of our go-to. It's a, a $4 stake you can buy at Walmart in the dog section. And uh, it's really simple. The reason why we like it is because the top here swivels like this. And so your lead has a less, uh, less of a tendency to get binded up here. So as your llama circles around and goes and picks the grass or whatever it is around it, it doesn't get doesn't bind up here. And there's a lot of snakes that screw in, um, and those work for a lot of a lot of reasons. But uh, we went away to away from them um, because we just had a lot of issues with them over the years in different types of terrain. So we really like these snakes; they work really great. And I'll kind of show you our system here. All of our llamas they have a six foot lead rope on their halter. And then this is a 12 foot lead rope. It has a brass uh, double eye swivel. And so this also swivels to keep things from binding. And so what we do is we have one end, we have a ring, we have a brass ring with a carabiner and we'll connect it onto the stake. So you see how this goes around and doesn't bind. That's key to helping your llamas get tangled up um, when they're stake, being staked out overnight and things like that. And then on this other end is our brass swivel. And so we always connect the, the lead that the llama has on its halter to this brass swivel. And I'll show you guys how to do that. But first, when we're staking out a llamas, we wanna make sure that once we have our stake in the ground, that we go out 12 feet, and then we go out another six feet. So we have 18 feet that the llama can go around in the circle. So it has a nice 18 foot radius. And it's really important to make sure that your llama is not going to get stuck on any twigs and stuff that are around. And also that your llama doesn't get stuck on uh, or tangled up with any other llamas. So making sure that the llamas are properly uh, spaced apart is really, really important. And so the stake, when you're pounding it to the ground, we don't have, it's so hard here because the winter, it's not going to go in the ground for us. So we'll just use the snow as an example. All right, we got McShane here. So we're gonna take McShane over to the lead, long lead. Okay, so we've got 12 foot of lead here and he's got six foot of lead here. And we're gonna connect the two. Um, he has a bull snap here and it works like this and also swivels to keep things from binding. And this basically, when we're packing, this, this trail lead stays on him the entire time. And then we've got a round brass ring on the end with a 12,000 pound capacity locking carabiner on the, on the end. And so now we can lock this up. And so the carabine, or the, it's gonna swivel here, it's gonna swivel there, and it's gonna swivel here. And when I first uh, designed the system, I wasn't for sure if it was gonna work. And we designed a lot of other stuff, but this works really, really well. And so there you can see that he's got 18 feet to be able to eat and rest and do whatever he wants. And so he's got a nice good area to go and enjoy grass. So that's staking out your llamas with the stake. And that's our system that we use. There's lots of other systems out there, but for commercial operations and lots of lots of miles on the trail with lots of different llamas, this has been our, our by far our, the best system that we've uh, come across and uh, we're really happy with it. So if you have any questions, let us know. And now we'll go into uh, the second method for uh, staking and picking out your llamas. Okay guys, this is method number two for picking out your llamas. This is uh, picking out your llamas using a net bag. This one has been uh, handcrafted out of uh, paracord. This, has been, <laughs> this one's been handcrafted out of paracord. You can also use a basketball net, uh, which people use quite often and is a pretty good method. You just go to Walmart or Kmart or whatever online, buy yourself a new basketball net, close up the bottom, and then put uh, what you do, whether you're using a basketball net or you're making your own, 
you just get a one inch piece of a nylon webbing. You can use polyester if you want. And then you're gonna fill this little puppy full of, full of rocks. So it's winter here. So I had to go pick these out of the ground. Dedication here. So you're gonna fill this up with rocks. Any size you can get that's not gonna fall out of the holes is good. We got some frozen dirt clods here. So that's probably not quite 10 pounds yet. I like to fill it up pretty good, just so they have a good amount of resistance. All right, that's as many rocks as I could find on the old Wilma farm today. So now I've got that full. This, uh, your one inch web, uh, polyester webbing here is tied on one end, and then basically you want to kind of go through and close off the top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to connect your llama's lead to this. And so what we do is we just have our, our 12 foot long leads, instead of having them on the stakes, we'll throw their, take a stake off. We'll connect our, our uh, we actually want this to swivel, so we, we rotate it. So we'll put our brass swivel our, to our carabiner and then that to our net bag. And then we've got 12 foot of lead. And now we'll grab one of our llamas and we'll connect it. And during the day, we'll just let the llamas kind of drag this thing around a little bit like that. And then at night, what we'll do is to make sure they don't do that, you can stake it out with a tent stake. I like to use a hook stake because then uh, no matter what direction they pull the bag, it doesn't come out. Simple tent stake will also work and help. So that's what you do at night. You stake out your bag if you don't want them to leave permanently. So we'll go ahead and connect it so you kind of see how this works. Okay, we got Doc Holiday here. He's gonna be our our assistant. Now we got him connected. Hey Doc. Go ahead, my friend. Now he's got all the freedom in the world. He can drag that bag wherever he wants. So that's uh, system number two, using a net bag as part of your picketing system. Works pretty well, especially in areas where you can't get a stake in the ground or it's really sandy. And all you have access to is uh, rocks. So depending on where you go, you might have to use both systems. Maybe the rock, uh, the net bag, and maybe the stake. So you just never know, knowing ahead of time kind of what country you're going into is really helpful. And sometimes you don't know because it's a new, new area. So just packing the net bag and the stake um, to kind of make sure you get everything covered. So now on to uh, method number three. Method number three to picking your llamas is uh, there's lots of different styles of doing this. Basically it's a high line, a loose high line, a high line, high line, and then uh, a spaced uh, low line or spaced high line. So we're gonna go through and just show you the different methods of how to do that. And if you haven't watched our not video, go ahead and click on it. We'll put the link up on the video because um, that will help you know how to do this ahead of time. And so there's a couple knots that are really important to know how to tie. Um, bowline knot and the taut line knot. So if you know those two knots, then this is a pretty simple thing to learn how to do. And uh, we'll show you guys how to do this. So high line and low line with spacing and non-spaced options. Okay, so what I've got here is I got 50 feet of rope. I'm not gonna use it all today, just a portion of it. And uh, this is a 3 8 inch uh, nylon rope. So it's pretty inexpensive, about $25 for this. And you can pick them up most anywhere. And so I'm just gonna tie to this jack of a trailer. Uh, to give you an idea, we do this sometimes at trailheads when you have to, but ideally you'd have two trees, um, you know, or two posts that you can tie in between. But uh, so this is, we're gonna do a low line. And on this jack right here, we're just gonna tie a bowline knot. And it's easier to adjust our level. And then we're gonna extend this puppy all the way across the driveway and we're gonna do a, a, a taut line on the other side. All right, so we're gonna do a, a tight line on here. Okay, so this is a low line and you can actually put this all the way on the ground if you want. Uh, depending on your situation, how many llamas you have. So we're gonna call this our low line and I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit, but this will be a low line for one llama, which means the llama will be able to run the whole space, the whole span. And uh, 
I'm just gonna tighten up our, our tight line here. Okay, now we've got it pretty tight. A uh, lawn will have free reign of this whole area, which is about 30 feet. So I'll go show you how we connect them to this and then how they can forage along this whole area. And sometimes they can jump on the other side. You can also lower the connection points on each side to put it right on the ground. Um, so this is a low line and you can do the same thing, but you can put it up higher depending on your situation. So this is uh, basically uh, a low line and you can do a high line. It's the exact same thing, just higher up in a tree. Um, and then you can also put it all the way on the ground. And this is set up right now for just one llama. It has no ties in it, no knots. So we'll go ahead and grab one of the llamas. Okay, so if I don't have very many llamas and I have a lot of space, this might be something I do, would do. Or if I'm uh, in the back country and I've got small patches of grass and then lots of dirt or lots of pine needles or something. So they don't have a, there's not one area with a lot of feed. So I've got to spread them across a large area. And what I do is I just take the carabiner and I keep them on their six foot lead, six and a half foot lead. I don't, I don't actually put them on the big lead because they have so much area. So I'll just lock this carabiner down and send him on his way. Hey, walk that way, buddy. And you'll see how the carabiner is just gonna slide along here, real simple. And he can kind of do anything he wants. He can jump over the he can jump over the low line. And if you don't want them jumping over, um, you can actually lower it. And if you have trees in the middle, you can actually kind of build a little track for them by going uh, around the trees and doing a few different loops. So that is a low line system. You can do the same version of it all the way down to the ground. And you can do the same version of it up high if you want to. And so now we're gonna do uh, the second version of the high line, which is uh, a spaced high line where you can put multiple animals onto the, the same line. So we'll go ahead and do that now. This is version two, um, a spaced version of the high line where you can put multiple animals on the same high line or low line. So I got my top line over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen it up pretty much all the way. Okay, so I walked three steps. I'm just gonna tie an overhand loop. It's pretty simple how to do. And this is gonna be actually what I'm gonna connect my llama to. And also there's another way to do that. Instead of connecting my llama carabiner, I'll let him run this span. So on the first one I did three, three and a half paces. And between the second knot and the third one I did five paces which basically takes me 15 feet from spot to spot. And if they're six foot leads, that means they're only gonna be able to reach 12 feet. So I still got a foot and a half of space in between each of the llamas now. So now I'm gonna do another five feet and do another overhand loop. We're gonna go tighten up our, our taut line and uh, we'll have a nice uh, low line here for our llamas. And we can put three llamas on this thing, no problem. So we'll go tighten it up and then start adding llamas to it. So I'm gonna put the dock holiday right here. Just put that carabiner on a loop, lock it up. I'm gonna put McShane on this one. Put the carabiner on a loop, lock it up. And we're gonna put Renegade on this one. Lock it up. So now we've got 30 feet of line and we've got three llamas on there and they'll have they have basically a, a small radius and we can move them. The reason why we use this a lot is when we get to camp and uh, we can't, we don't want to dig through all the pain just to get out the steaks right at that time or maybe we were eating lunch and it's just very minimal. You got some rope, you do a nice high line or low line and it's pretty simple. Also when you get to trailheads and you got all your gear packed up and you're waiting for your ride, often my wife will drop me off and then pick me up five days later. And so to take the stick out all the llamas, I'll just get out a 50 foot rope, tie a bunch of uh, overhand loops in it and just wait for versus getting all my stuff out of my packs. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this. There's different mechanical systems you can use. Um, this is just a simple, very easy way of doing a high line or a low line. You basically have nothing to it but rope and the leads of your llamas. And if you don't have carabiners at the end of your leads, you can just tie knots. We like the carabiners because they're fast, they're easy, they're strong, and then we don't have to worry about people tying bad knots. So it makes it for a pretty easy system for us. So this is a, uh, you know, system three and four, high line and low line um, of how to stake out and picket your llamas. So hopefully this is really helpful for you guys. If not, at least you enjoy. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, if you didn't enjoy it, well at least you got to look at some llamas. So 
hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks for tuning in to Llama Life. Um, we appreciate it. If you want to learn how to tie the bowline and the top line knots, click on our knot video and we'll show that to you. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day, guys. Thanks.